as the axis of a pentagonal pyramid is a perpendicular to hp so initially draw top view so take this line of a 50 mm and mark the distance of a 30 mm on which we have to show one of the base edge which is a perpendicular to bp so this base length is of a 30 mm now set or mark the angles Is that uh, <coughs> the reference of this point measure this angle in this direction of 108 degree hundred hundred and five and eight and draw the line of a 30 millimeter length then with the reference of this point Take the protractor in this way and now measure the angles in this direction that is here 90, 10, 100, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And now on this 108 degree line, draw this another edge. Now take this distance in compass and set arc now join these points so this is a A B C D E. Now to locate the axis and to show the slant edges, take the midpoint and through this draw a very faint line. Then take another side and set midpoint and through this midpoint take this opposite corner draw a very faint line now this shows the position of vertex V now through this vertex V draw this vertical line and on this set axis height of 50 mm then shift all these base corner points to draw the front view now again join these points very faint now show the axis height This is of 50 millimeter. Label the points. Here will be the point A dash, B dash. This will be the C dash and E dash. And last will be the here D dash because D is here. So this will be the point D dash. Now show the axis by center line. Now the cutting plane bisects the axis that is axis height is a 50 mm so mark this point which is of uh, which is at a 25 mm Now through this, 
to our line which is inclined at a 60 degree degree will pass in this way okay 60 degree now through this 60 degree angle draw the section plane which will cut the base points as well as this generator at here and this now this is the section plane now observe where this section plane cuts now this section plane cuts at this point now these are the two base edges that is a base edge BC and base edge AE so shift these points on this curve on that corresponding edges so this is a little label it as a one and shift this point number one on corresponding base edges that is AE and here will be the BC now section plane cuts the slant edge C V and E V at this point so these are the point C and this is a point E now shift these points in top view on corresponding slant edges. Let's shift the point C on. Before this here we have to show the slant edges. Slant edge AV is shown here. This is shown here. Now show the slant edges AV. Slant edge BV and slant edge D these are the slant edges now to transfer this slab points in front view to transfer from front view to top view the point C will lie on this slant edge VC so draw the projections so here will be the point C and point E will be on this slant edge that is a point E now this is the next point where the section plane cuts the slant edge VD so this is a point D so now shift this point on point D now these points are available here now join these points it will cut the base edges at here and here now join 1 to C now C to D now D to E and from E to 1 thus the points which are required to draw the sectional top view are located and joined by straight lines now show the section or hatching lines in sectional top view the sectional top is completed now to draw the true shape of a given section so we have to draw a line which is a parallel to this one so the draw is line which is parallel to section plane label it as a x1 and y1 now if you observe the sectional top view the sectional top view is a symmetrical 
symmetrical about the slant is VD. So it is a symmetrical about the slant is VD. If you observe the upper portion and bottom portion are the same. So to take the benefits of the symmetricity, but before this, draw the projection lines. to the cutting points where the section plane cuts the given pyramid now these are the cutting points where the section plane cuts the base the slant edge and this slant edge d through this draw the perpendicular projection lines now simply we have to shift the points here now consider the point 1 1 take this distance in compass 1 is lying on through this projector and through this projector we have drawn another projector which is a perpendicular to x1 by 1 now transfer this distance on this is a 1 1 now to shift the distance P and PC now take this projector line which is passing through the point E and C so take this distance in compass now go to the corresponding projection line and locate the point here now the next point is the point D point D lies on this so the point D will be the on x1 y1 so this is a point d point 1 point 1 now this is a point e and this is a point c now through this point join all these points Now draw the hatching lines. So for this, set the minute after at a 45 degree angle, and now draw the projection lines. Sorry, draw the section lines. the true shape of a given section is uh, completed now this is a sectional front view so sectional top view 